Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lizzie Fain Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and I have an exciting announcement for you today for a Christmas read-along that I'm going to be co-hosting with Sarah from Not Just Romance Novels. But before I get to that, I wanted to just uh, mention I have just filmed my Christmas book haul of all the Christmas books that I've been buying recently and I got to thinking, you know, I should have decorated my shelves a little better before I started filming these Christmas videos. Well, it's not even Thanksgiving yet when I'm filming this and I think now that now that I'm filming on my camera, you guys can see more. I feel kind of exposed now because all of this stuff up here wasn't really ever supposed to be seen by anybody but me. Uh, and But now that you can see it, I think that uh, in addition to my cute little Mitford snowman, which I just put up here recently, thanks to Mommy Lava You, thank you again so much for sending me these Mitford snowman. They're adorable. I think I will maybe take this stuff down, store it away for now, and when we do unpack our Christmas stuff, maybe I will decorate my shelves for Christmas. I don't know. I did uh, find some Christmas jewelry and I put on a red shirt so that I could at least kind of feel a little more Christmassy, um, even though it's not Thanksgiving. Now, around here at our house, we always get a real Christmas tree, so we don't usually pull out our Christmas stuff until after Thanksgiving, sometimes a week or two, a couple of weeks after Thanksgiving, because, you know, if we put up a real tree now, it's going to be dead by Christmas and then we end up leaving it up and leaving it out until after New Year. So that's kind of how we do things here. But I am really getting in the Christmas spirit. I hope you will check out the Christmas books that I just purchased. I will be uploading that video within a day or two of this one. And so uh, I also have what I think is going to be a really fun reading plan for December. I'm going to wrap my books that I'm going to read and, um, and then unwrap them as kind of like a Christmas book advent and unwrap one of those every couple of days and uh, let you know what I'm going to read. Now, I do have one set of books that I'm not going to wrap, and these are the books that we are going to be using for our Christmas read-along. It's going to be the 24 Days of Christmas Hope, and we are going to be reading the eight books in the Donovan Lear Christmas Hope series. So let me tell you what they are, and then I will tell you kind of our plan for reading. The first book is The Christmas Shoes. This is well known. There's a movie. There's a song. It's very short. It's just a little over 100 pages. I think about 130 pages. It's the shortest one of the series. And I have not read it or any of these yet. But I am super excited to read them. I've been saying for a while now that this Christmas was going to be the Christmas of Donna Van Leer for me. And if I didn't read anything else, I was going to read her Christmas Hope series. So this is the first First one, The Christmas Shoes. So even if you are not sure you want to join in on the whole thing, I hope that you will at least read The Christmas Shoes and join in on the discussion and um, then you can decide from there if you want to jump in and read the rest of these. Okay, the next one is The Christmas Blessing and number three, The Christmas Hope. Number four, The Christmas Promise. These are gorgeous covers, aren't they? Now, all of them except for, the first one is about 130 pages. All of the rest of them except for the next one all hover around 200 pages, like 205 to 210 pages. And it's kind of hard to tell from here, but these are all very small books. Uh, if I held it up in comparison, hold on. Okay, so if I held it up in comparison to a full-size hardcover book, you can see the size is quite uh, quite different. All right, so the next one, book five, is The Christmas Secret. It's the longest one. It is 200, about 280 pages, 290. So that's the longest one. And then number six is The Christmas Note. Isn't that a beautiful cover? This is the only one I don't own yet. This is a library copy. I am going to keep looking for my own copy and, and order one online if I can't find one by the time we get home from Thanksgiving. Uh, then The Christmas Light is number seven. And then number eight, The Christmas Town. I love that truck. 
then she does have one other Christmas book, and this is going to be kind of a bonus edition. Uh, it's not part of the series, but it is a nativity book called A Christmas Journey. So I wanted to just show it to you. Um, like I said, this is not part of the series, but if you want to read this one, I will be reading this one. I forgot to mention this one to Sarah, but uh, I wanted to show it. And if you would like to read her nativity story, then that's this one. Okay, so what we're going to do is it's going to be the, um, the 24 days of Christmas hope and we're going to basically try to read one book every three days and these eight books then will take us right up until December 24th so since the first one is so short if you want to go ahead and start on the next one you know read them at your own pace but the um the schedule we're going to try to keep is uh, one book every three days for these eight books. And then we are going to use Sarah's Goodreads group. She has a, um, a romance book club that uh, she runs on her uh, on her Goodreads group. And I will put a link for that um, group in the description of this video. And then at whatever point in December, if you want to read this one, then, um, you know, let me know and we'll talk about it. Excuse me, Emily's in the background. Sorry, my daughter needed something. Uh, so uh, this is just kind of a bonus edition. It's one that I'm going to be reading. And if you end up reading this, then, uh, you know, let me know. And so Sarah is the moderator of her group, obviously. And she will probably put uh, discussion threads for each of the books. And I will probably ask her to go ahead and put up one for this one as well. And so that's what we're going to do. And, of course, feel free to um, comment down below. I will be probably doing a video as I read each one. I will talk about the one that I just finished and then talk about the one that I'm reading next. And I want you to jump in and, and comment. And then we'll also comment on the Goodreads group. Be sure you subscribe to Sarah if you're not already subscribed to her. I'll put a link to her channel down below. And if you're just finding me because you are a subscriber of Sarah's, welcome. I'm glad to, uh, to have you. And um, so that's basically it. We're just going to enjoy reading some some nice, wonderful holiday reads for the Christmas season. And let me know if you plan to join in. And like I said before, uh, even if you're not sure you want to read all eight, it's not a big investment to you know, as far as time to pick up the Christmas shoes and at least read that and see if uh, you know if you're gonna enjoy the style. So that's it. Let me know if you're going to join in. And that's all I have for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.